Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Danganronpa. It sounds like there's some interesting music playing in the background for our investigation phase, I guess. So yeah, you have two murders that occurred. One is right before us and the other, well, that was a murder by one of the students apparently. So oh, that's can we gonna, check our, our file or whatever? Didn't, um... It's gonna require all our attention. We did get something bear, special, didn't we? He told us. Don't know what it's considered. Is it in the report card? Maybe. In her file? No. No. How do I... Just like that. Now, I don't know how we access the, uh... It's like the Monokuma files or whatever. Mm. Is it a present? No. I doubt it. Regulations? Maybe? No, it's just all the rules. Hmm. Maybe we have to talk to everyone first? It doesn't... That sounds dumb, but okay, whatever. Well, uh, I'll start off with Kyoko. Hey. Before we start searching for Sayaka's killer, we need to decide what to do about securing the crime scene. What do you mean? Hm. You're thinking of putting someone on guard duty so nobody can disturb the area, aren't you? After all, if the culprit decides to destroy the evidence, we're pretty much screwed. Hey. In that case, I don't mind doing it. I don't like having to think anyway. I'll let you guys figure out who killed that chick. Wow, Mondo. <laughs> okay. So caring. Then we can let Mondo look after the scene. <laughs> well, no. We can't just leave him there alone. What? What? Why the hell not? Stop talking. Isn't it obvious? If you were the culprit, what's the first thing you would do? By volunteering for guard duty, you're in a position to destroy all the evidence you want. <laughs> what? Fuck you. So then. Fine, then I'll stay there on guard duty as well. That way there's no problem. There we go, two strong people. Mm -hmm. Two player co-op based defense with the two of them. With their stats, they're totally OP. All right, Ifumi, huh. if you say so. Since we won't be able to help investigate, we're putting our faith in the rest of you. But... I I'm still pretty freaked out, but I'll try. Huh, all right. Ifumi looked sad. Ifumi? Consciousness has crashed. Restarting now. Please wait a moment. Okay, whatever you say. Wow. Ooh, what's she doing back there? Lingering in the shadows. She must be so shocked she can't even open her mouth to talk. I'm sure that's what it is. I don't think she's really phased by the death or anything. What should I do? Someone got right in front of us, they hmm. Huh? Huh? Uh, um... What? What's going on, bro? We can't run away from the situation, so we have no choice but to move forward. Well, I guess that's true. You have to confront this head on. Huh? Is this really happening? Don't fuck with me. Screw that piece of shit, bear. Yeah, he really is an asshole, isn't he? I hate this, but still, we don't have a choice. We have to figure out who did it. Or else, we're all dead. That's enough motivation to get me going, anyway. Oh. Hmm? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> so you finally noticed. What the crap? Talking about what? Huh? Notice what? <laughs> I was looking through the Monokuma file we received. Well, how did you, how did you, you do it? receive it? Where's it in our menu? How dare you? And I noticed something very obvious and very unusual. Oh, you think? Huh? What are you talking about? <laughs> Go ahead, take a look. Notice anything interesting about where Sayaka died? She died in Makoto's dorm. Wait, you guys just realized that now? Well, I guess no one else no, went no there. No shit, Sherlock. Uh. What? She's right! <laughs> then could it be? All at once, everyone's gaze turned to me. I thought they already knew that, but... Okay, whatever. Who dragged us out of the room, then? Uh... <laughs> uh hold on a second. You've got it all wrong. For, for just one night, I traded rooms with her. I did it because she was afraid. Y you expect us to believe that? Just tell us the truth. The look in everyone's eyes had become a complete 180 from just a few minutes ago. The feeling of suspicion and fear returned, in other words. 
Y you think I did it? Huh. We need to hurry up and figure out who the culprit is. At least he's not jumping to conclusions. Are you serious? So, so we're really gonna try and find out who did it. Well, <laughs> if we find out who did it, then only that person dies. But if we get it wrong, then all the rest of us face execution. What the heck? That's what that ridiculous school regulation said, right? So stupid. Oh, now you're against the regulations all of a sudden. <laughs> well, I guess I'll check out her body. I gently placed my hand on Junko's lifeless body. I touched her wrist to check for a pulse, like they do in movies and stuff. But... She really is dead. There wasn't anything else to say. She was gone. <laughs> I don't know why you even bothered to check. After those injuries and losing that much blood, Frankly, I'd be shocked if she did survive something like that. Huh? Uh, huh? Hold on. Uh, hold on. J just wait a second. She... She's dead? Then that means... What? That means everything that's happened so far is real? It's not a joke or whatever? It's really real, bro? Let me out of here. Hell no. S someone save me. Let me out of here. Somebody help me. You're just now accepting <laughs> he is that? such an idiot. So then, are we all done so talking? Delusional. We need to begin our investigation soon. At this point, we should split up. That's a good idea. We need to get to the bottom of this and find out who killed Sayaka. We'll have to collect clues to form a foundation, then construct an argument to come to a final decision. If we get this wrong... So... Well, do I really have to say any more? Actually... Guess not. I'd rather you didn't, know. Goodbye. Everyone pray for good luck. Wait, I thought we were sleeping into groups. Are we just going alone? Because that's know. silly. Well, whatever. I guess she's going off alone anyway. With that, Kyoko hurried out of the gym. Goodbye. I'll be going too. And just like Kyoko, he was gone before he realized it. Yo. Oh yeah, I'm on guard duty, huh? I better head to the scene of the crime. Mm. Ah, that's right. Hey, damn it. Let me just say this right now. If whatever set of a bitch did this is here right now, and they're thinking of destroying that evidence, You're fucking dead. they'd better not let me find him. I'll skip the trial and cave their goddamn skull in myself. Well, two people already left, so... I'm serious, I will fuck them up. I wonder what happened though if you do kill the killer. I don't know. Would that then just immediately start another trial? Probably. Or would that... I don't know, it's a good question. I mean, it could only seem that'd be a possibility that would happen. Letting his deadly words hang in the air, he and Sakura ran off. So, um... But, I mean, we're not detectives or anything, you know? And we're gonna investigate a murder? Yeah, it's just gonna be like one of those books about kids solving mysteries. It'd be like Scooby-Doo and the gang. How do we even do something like that? Anyway... We don't really have to do anything in particular. We already know who killed Sayaka. No, we don't, you bitch. What are you implying? This is it was you. Suspicious. I'm telling you, it wasn't me. Mm. Holy shit. D don't come any closer. Are you going to kill me next? So, um... Well, I guess it wouldn't hurt to give it a shot. It's not for sure that Makoto's guilty yet. That's true. We may as well at least check just to check. What? <laughs> Even if I wanted to, I couldn't help investigate. Why not? Uh... Wait, why not? I'm not good with blood. Really? All it takes is one glimpse and I black out. Oh yeah? Well, whatever. I don't think anyone was expecting much from you anyway. Ha ha ha. So, so burned. Alright, I guess I better get going. I'm suspicious of you though. But wait, mm -hmm. don't go yet. You have to hear me out. But it was pointless. Everyone had already left. And their parting looks at me had still been filled with suspicion. That's great. Does everyone really think that I'm the killer? How did it turn out like this? Seriously, they got it all wrong. Why did they suspect me? 
I have to do something. Otherwise, everyone will... Yeah, they'll all get killed. Execution is... Execution. Execution! Yeah, we get it. Electric chair. Bzz, bzz, poison gas. <laughs> Torn apart like a paper plane in a hurricane. That last one's really random. <laughs> Just saying. I can't let that happen. I can't let things turn out the way Monokuma wants. All I have to do is find out who really did it. Who really killed Sayaka? Oh, some people are still here. Yeah, what a lie. Guess I should look through the Monokuma file we got before. So I wanted to. The victim was Sayaka Maizono. The time of death is estimated to be around 1.30 a.m. So that was well after we left. The body was discovered in Makoto's room, in the dormitory. All evidence suggests that the death took place in the bathroom. The cause of death was a stab wound to the abdomen. There was also an injury to her right wrist. Yeah, that's also true when I was, um, looking at the body before in the other episode. She was stabbed with a knife. Yes. Was that one of the knives from the cafeteria? Possibly. That's the only that's, thing I could think yeah. of. I remember, I was like, oh, I have to keep an eye on that later, see if that disappears. So I'll have to <laughs> check in the cafeteria later. Specifically, the wrist appears to have suffered a fracture. So someone also broke her wrist during the struggle? Or did she, like, fall on it? Huh. Interesting. We have no choice but to push forward if you want to find out what happens. Somehow, I have to find out the truth. So someone was grabbing her wrist. I wonder if she had the knife or the sword. No, Probably. the knife would make more sense because it's smaller. So someone wrestled it out of her hand? Um, but what was the, how was the sword involved? I don't know. But she definitely, whatever happened, she lured the person there to kill them. That's what you're thinking? Yes, because she was being so suspicious and she was like, oh my God. She would have to open the door to let them in. So yeah, yeah. that makes sense. And she was all over him like, oh, you'll protect me no matter what, right? And but like, then it's weird that she didn't involve us in any way other than the room. So like she tried to kill someone in there. That was her plan, but then it backfired. That's and what they killed her instead. I think. Uh, maybe. Because what else? What are their kind of plan? Like what? I I don't know. It's really weird. Or did you think it would have been easier to just kill us? Yeah, but I guess she wanted us as an ally in case she survived, so that we would oh, stick up for her. Yeah, or we would be like her. Um, or the scapegoat. fall guy. Yeah, that's what it was gonna be. Yeah, that's true. She would like pretend we never switched rooms, and for Sayaka, I have to find out how she was killed. I wonder if we really solved it already. That'd be pretty funny. Monokuma file number one has been added to the truth bullets section of your handbook. Oh yeah, the truth bullets. That's interesting. What what the heck are truth bullets? Still not entirely sure on that. Aren't you going to help? This is oh, me. that's you. Sorry, hey. sorry. Are you going to help investigate Chihiro? Um, but I can't leave Junko here. I, I feel sorry for her. I I have to stay with her. Yeah, what do they expect okay. us to do with her body? <laughs> uh, no way, bro. I seriously don't want to die here. Help me. I'm begging you. God, Buddha, Mother Earth, God of Space, King Neptune, help me. I don't care who it is. Ancient alien, just get me out of here. Hero doesn't seem prepared to do any kind of investigating right now. Thor. Thor can help. Yeah, I already did this. So I to see if it's anything different. Uh... I already checked that out last time. Yep, nothing new here. Oh, hold on a second. So I can... Well, you know what? I think I figured out how to teleport the other episode. But I'm gonna just walk through the building to see where everyone is, because I have to kind of manually go through it to talk to everyone anyway. If that makes any sense to you guys. I just like to check what everyone has to say. There may be clues. First of all, I should head to the scene of the crime, my room. It's a good start. We won't make any progress without investigating there. Makes sense. Oh, we just went there automatically anyway. Yes, yeah, so we head to the room. And look who's in here. I Besides thought the two Sakura guards. was wearing a hat. Oh yeah, it kind of does. <laughs> That's funny. I better examine the scene of my room a little closer. That might reveal something new. Yeah, look. Now it really kind of looks like it. <laughs> it's funny. She's like Devo. <laughs> By the way. You know, I realized something while I was on guard duty. The killer could have already destroyed some evidence, right? Before anyone found the body, I mean. 
There's a trash room here in the dorms, right? They could have tossed some stuff in there, but it's locked. Y yeah, it's definitely possible. You son of a bitch! That dirty bastard! Ugh, shit. Anyone who raises their hand to a woman is scum. That deserves death. And that's what my brother taught me. Wow. You're fucking dead. So if I ever find that son of a bitch that did this, I'm gonna pound his goddamn face in. But, but what if it's a girl that did it? <laughs> no. That'll all get sorted out when the time comes. Well, I think Manakuma will take care of that. Sakura, do you think I'm guilty too? Hey. I try not to make assumptions like that. I simply don't know whether or not you did this. Hmm. Whatever decision the rest of you come up with, I will follow your lead. Hmm, I see. That's I fair enough, like I guess. Her. Like, she was weird in the beginning, but I like her. She's now. cool. Yeah. She has a good code. I don't like her shoes, though. Hey, Kyoko. I quietly called her name while she was investigating the area. But she ignores us. What are you doing? Isn't it obvious? N no, not really. Is she following the blood trail I'm or whatever? Oh, that's her way of searching. Searching? Okay. She was down on her knees, carefully inspecting every inch of my room. Did you lose a contact or something? Makoto, oh my God. are you being an idiot or what? <laughs> no words for that. I don't know what she's doing exactly, but she seems to be concentrating pretty hard on it. Can we look in the bathroom? I guess so. Hey, Kyoko. Oh, not again. Wait, does it really do the same thing? That's silly. I guess we could go in the bathroom. What? Oh, I thought I checked on her first. She look around here first. All right, fair enough. The bed's all in this, and this as well. The lint roller, it looks like there's way less than there was before. So someone rolled lint? Did Saika see how dirty my room was and decide to clean up a little? I'm sure that's what it was. Gouges in the bed like someone attacked it. What the hell were they doing? What the hell happened here? This is the replica sword that I brought back for self-defense. Does this mean it was used in the attack somehow? I don't know. And plus, it's been taken out of its sheath. I hadn't actually looked at the blade it's itself till now. I shouldn't be surprised it's coated in gold too. On top of that, some of the gold coatings come off of parts of the blade and the handle. Yeah, the handle especially is missing a lot of its coating. I remember the coating sticks to you even if you just touch it a little bit. Alright, it's been added. So, we didn't really check anyone for their hands. It's kind of a shame. Yeah. Although she might have done it herself before the attack even took place to make yeah, the room look like Yeah, she might have mess. framed it. Mm hmm So we'll have to see if her hands have it, maybe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's not important, apparently. Well, that's still inside. Yeah, it's mine, and I haven't had any reason to open it. Well, it might come in handy. Yo. Yeah, seriously. Oh, Mondo. What? We ain't exactly what? in the mood to be building fucking furniture, right? So you haven't used yours either, then? What? What? Not just me. Nobody's busted theirs out yet, as far as I know. Actually, we were talking about it yesterday. By the way, none of the guys have opened their toolkits yet. Cause like, why the hell would we? Oh, well, that's been added. How is that a truth, bully? I I'm not sure to be honest. Well, it's good to know for future reference, I guess. Our keys just on the ground. Sorry, our, our room key. Yeah, we gave it to her. When we switch rooms, we switch keys too. So Saika would have had the key here in my room the entire time. But wait, if that's true, then this is the question. How did the killer get into the room first, in the first place? Mm -hmm. She must have opened it and let them in. Could Saika have forgotten to lock the door? No, that's silly. No, that seems impossible. She's worried about that explicitly. Yeah, yeah, we've already done this in the last episode. After saying that, there's no way she would have forgotten to lock it or open it for any reason. Well, maybe she dropped the key somewhere and someone else grabbed it or something. No, that's not possible either. She wouldn't have left the room. Saika was in here when we switched rooms. And <laughs> with how scared she was, she wouldn't have gone walking around. So she could have dropped it. So how did the killer... 
Switching rooms has been added to the truth bullets. Yeah, we should have already known that. I mean, really. Can we go in now or is there anything else we have to inspect? The sheath. Yeah, there's something behind her. Let's be checking out. The display case, or stand, or whatever. Let's see. The replica sword I brought back for self defense. Oh, it's just the sword. Oh, this is the sheath, though. Yeah? What's the point? Huh? There's scratches on the sheath! Something sharp. I wonder what. Why would someone scratch that? That's a good question, though. She was using that to defend against the knife. Or someone had used it to defend against the knife. They picked up the sheath. Uh, like she was attacking them. That could be. Maybe. I mean, if you're going to attack someone with a sword, the first thing you'd you do is unsheath it. A heavy sheath like this would only get in the way. It'd just slide off in the middle of the fight. So why are the scratches on the sheath? Nice. <laughs> Silly. Can we go in yet? Let's to examine this. Scratching gadgets on the walls and the bed. Obviously, some kind of struggle, or it could have been a setup, I guess. Some kind of fight. I was right. No. Oh, damn it. I was right there in the other room. If only I'd heard something. How did we not hear anything? That's a good question. These Are soundproof they sound walls. That would not have been possible. Huh? Don't you remember? All of our rooms are completely soundproof. Oh yeah, they, they did say something like that in the beginning. Kind of convenient. So something could happen in the room right next to you and there's no way you could know. Well, perhaps it was another of Monokuma's strategies creating an ideal setting for murder. Hmm. Nice. <laughs> Alright, is that it? Well, let's see if I try to go in. No? We didn't look at everything? Oh no, maybe I didn't. Gouge the bed like someone attacked it. What the hell happened here? Surveillance camera. They just keep watching. The Check monitor. this thing too. <laughs> this is a pain to go through. Yep. Mm. Ugh. Oh, listen. Are Wait. you are you a clean freak? What'd she say? What did we say before this? She said, it was like, oh, but then... Oh, whatever, anyway. That was confusing. Yes. Huh? N no, I don't think so, but what? Nodding, she glanced around my room one more time. I see. Interesting. What's interesting? Hey. Just as I suspected, there's something very unusual about your room. Hold it. What do you mean, very unusual? Yeah, what do you mean? <laughs> exactly. So... I've searched your floor from one corner to another. And I didn't find one single strand of hair. Well, that's very, very interesting. The lint roller. Sakura. I mean, not Sakura. What are we talking about? Uh, I already forgot her Sayaka. name. Sayaka. That's what it is. Really? Indeed. Not one hair from the victim and not one hair from you, even though you've been living in here. You know, now that you mention it, I noticed something while I was looking around before. It looked like the lint roller in my room had been used, but I never touched it. Could someone have used it to... Very interesting. Your room didn't have a single hair in it, and someone used your lint roller without your knowledge. <laughs> How dare they? That's the real crime here. In other words, someone other than you came in and scrubbed your room clean. Probably whoever else took part in the, uh, murder. Was it Saika? Or the killer? Well, that's the question, isn't it? I'm assuming if there was like a- Okay, nice. If there's a fight, then hair probably got somewhere eventually, so they probably cleaned it up afterwards? Long hair gets everywhere. Maybe. Now can I go in? The bathroom, oh, thank yes. God. I wasn't expecting her to have something else to say after I checked her twice before. Yeah. I guess I had to click on the lint roller and then her. And on the other side of the store. There we go. No, I can't let it get to me. I can't afford to freeze up now. Forcing myself to push my panic down, I stepped into the bathroom. There she is. Looking at her made it painfully clear it wasn't a dream or an illusion. She had lost everything that made her, her. Sayaka. All at once I was overcome with dizziness, nausea, the urge to burst into tears. But I can't. I can't hesitate now. Why? Why did Sayaka have to die? 
I have to uncover the truth. I have to find out what happened. I wanted to give up. I wanted to collapse. But that thought held me up and supported me. Well. So we can kind of read more of this now. Let's see. It looks like it says Leo. I looked past Sayaka to the wall behind her. And there I saw... Yeah. That's that, it. That's it has it. to be. It there's says no, Leon. There's no doubt about that. Yeah. Damn, that's pretty damn the evidence right there. Written in blood were the numbers no. 11037. No, it's not. But why did she write it upside down? Like, was she writing it? Because she was resting there in her hand. Like, she couldn't move, I guess. Uh, that's just weird. So she was like... That. You see? Like... Eh, eh. I guess that's dumb. And plus she was dying, so I guess she couldn't really think. I guess. I mean, look, she was stabbed pretty badly. Yeah. I, I'm not going to falter too much for that. Did Saika do this? Come on, you're not really gonna- Okay, whatever. Obviously not. That looks like one of the knives. No. No, no, no. I didn't mean to click on that again. Maybe bring out your blue dots. Oh, that's all I can click on. These two things. She is not a thing. <laughs> well, she's just a corpse now, so you could say it's a thing, I guess. I told myself I simply couldn't face what I saw, but... But now's no time to think like that. I pulled out the Monokuma file to verify what it said about her body. Some sort of sharp object. <laughs> sharp object? It's been thrust into her stomach. That must have been the killing blow. Yeah, no shit. But whatever they used to kill her, where'd they get it? The kitchen. That has to be from the kitchen. That's definitely something I should look into later. Also, according to the Monokuma file, Saika's right wrist is broken. And look! <gasps> Gold! Her wrist does look swollen and bloody, that's for sure. And there's gold. But there's something sort of glittery on her wrist too. Right there, where her wrist is all swollen. There's something glittery. That definitely concerns me. <laughs> Another thing that concerns me is, huh? There's some blood on her left index finger, but that's what she was writing with. Duh. It's funny, that looks more blood-like than the uh, blood on the wall too. Yeah, it does. The palms of both her hands are totally spotless. So how come only her left finger? All right, so she doesn't have any gold on her except there when the, when it hit her. I guess that's true. So she wasn't wielding the sword. So someone hit her with the sheath, and that's how they broke her hand. Or the sword wrist? itself. Oh, maybe. But if it was hit with the sword itself, it probably done more damage. It fractured it, and it's not a sharp blade. Well, that's true, I guess. The stab wound in her stomach is what killed her. So when she broke her wrist, it must have happened earlier on. I mean, how could her wrist get broken after she'd already been killed? It'd be pretty silly. So it's very possible she broke her wrist during the struggle. The killer attacked Saika in the main room, which is when her wrist got broken. After that, the killer cornered her in the bathroom, where they inflicted the deadly wound. So, uh, there's this. This is important. The water for the showers gets turned off at nighttime. Ah, so that's why he didn't clean up after himself. I guess so. Mr. Leon. Oh, look, there is a toilet. Yeah. Just saying. Obviously, toilets are used in this game after all. <laughs> I guess that's it. But not by pop stars. No. Never. It would seem... It looks like you found it, right, Makoto? <laughs> well, yeah, I think so. The bloody numbers. Oh, you too? That's most likely Sayaka's dying message. Uh, I guess we'll start with bloody numbers. I've never seen something written in blood before. It really was her final message. It's as if she wrote it with life itself, kind of. Right. Do you often talk like an aspiring poet? Most of the time. But the numbers she wrote, what do they mean? They're not numbers! I have no idea what it could possibly mean. So Ugh. The way she wrote the numbers makes me think she wanted to use her body to block them. If she wrote them in that location while she was sitting the way we found her, it means she must have wrote them by turning only her hand toward the wall. Yeah, I got it. If you were to write something in that position, do you know what the result would be? Oh, yeah, so it would be mirrored or whatever. The result? Well, think about it. You're not going to tell me? Makoto. 
You need to uncover the mystery of this case yourself. Wait, so you already figured it out yourself and you're not going to tell anyone else? Freaking Sherlock Holmes. Doesn't he do that to Watson all the time? Yeah. Otherwise, the case will end and you'll remain unconvinced. He's like, oh, I solved the first page of the book, basically, but I wanted you to get it, Watson. Mm -hmm. To make you feel good about yourself. And then once he tells him that, of course, he doesn't feel good about himself. No. I have no idea what you're trying to say, but it's obvious you're not going to tell me. Come on, Makoto, we figured it out. It's not that hard. Dying message has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Sounds like Kyoko knows what Saka's dying message means. But honestly, I have no idea. Well, Ugh. we do have like 10 years or more on him, so he's maybe he's I would have figured that as a kid. Come on. <laughs> oh, I know who I should talk to. When it comes to numbers, who better to ask than the ultimate programmer? Why? They're not going to be any use. Makoto. There's one other thing I wanted to ask you about. How? Oh, it's about numbers. I'm gonna ask a programmer about this. Like, what? It's such a silly train of thought. <sighs> Did you read this? I forget. Yes. Okay, sorry. Do you know how the door to your bathroom got broken? It was broken before we got there. Broken? Oh, you mean how it got stuck? What? Get stuck? Yeah. I guess I'm the only one, but the door doesn't fit in the frame quite right. When I first tried to use it, I thought it was just locked. But once you learn the trick, it opens no problem. Nice. Correct. So the door doesn't quite fit the frame, huh? But actually, I'm referring to the broken doorknob. Huh? The doorknob? That's right. You didn't notice. We'll just try closing the bathroom door. I'm sure you'll see right away what I'm talking about. I did what Kyoko said and shut the bathroom door. Huh? The doorknob. Yeah, it's, uh, turned, I guess. You examine it? What the heck? The doorknob's practically about to fall off. Why is it like this? It would seem... Someone must have used a screwdriver or something similar to unscrew it. Uh-oh, so oh. someone must have broke it, uh, broke open their thing after all. Mm-hmm. Whatever it was, it's obvious this was intentional. What? It was intentional? Why would someone want to do that? They thought it was locked. I guess maybe they were trying to get the door unlocked and ended up breaking the whole thing. But my bathroom doesn't have a oh lock on god, it. Oh my god, Makoto. Do you not we get it already? just went over this. Only the girls' bathrooms can lock, right? <laughs> she stood there for a while lost in thought, thinking, how is this guy so stupid? Then apparently struck with a sudden realization, she shot a question at me. Just a second. I have just one more question for you. Were you dropped as your, on your head as a baby? <laughs> you mentioned earlier that your bathroom door would get stuck, right? Did you tell anyone about that? Oh. Um. Well, I did tell Sayaka about it last night when we switched rooms. So what you're saying is, only you and Sayaka knew about it. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. She had the slightest hint of a smirk on her face. I got the sense that she was really starting to get into all this. I see. Then that clears that up. Huh? What clears what up? I'm so lost. Goodbye. Well, see you later. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, Makoto, but she figured it out before you did. As if forgetting I was ever even there, she suddenly turned and left the room. Bathroom doorknob has been added to the truth bullets. Still don't really understand any of this, but... I've already given my room a good once-over. Maybe I should look around somewhere else. The kitchen. I should start looking into where the murder weapon might have come from. And also, I should look into the DVD Sayaka got. Ah. With Sayaka dead, I have no choice but to see for myself what was in that video. And on top of that, I'm sure there are some other areas worth checking out too. Maybe I should see what everyone else thinks. If they even talk to me, that is. Oh, well, alright, finally. So now we could actually explore the rest of this uh, area and find out what's going on. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, we already know what's going on, but I guess <laughs> we have to technically find more evidence before we can officially solve it in the game. Yeah. So that's kind of silly. But I guess we'll do that in the next part. Sounds good. So until then, guys, take care, and we'll see you next time. Bye.